Hey guys, it's Michael with Straight of Fitness. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but I just got done working out and I want to start doing these again because um, I just had a client in Long Beach ask me, hey, my shoulder hurt, hurts, hoits, my shoulder, shoulder, my shoulder hurts, and uh, what do I do about it? Now I know there are a lot of people out there that are watching that have shoulder pain because your shoulder is a complicated joint. It's complicated. Like many relationships, it goes up, down, it rotates, it goes back and forth. And the problem is when your shoulder goes, basically your whole entire upper body workout goes. You can't do any upper body workouts with no shoulder unless you just do crunches, which you shouldn't be doing that anyway. So there's a couple of things to watch for to avoid shoulder pain or if you're already in shoulder pain, then here's what I need you to do. Same thing. First off. We're all sedentary, we all don't move enough. So whether you have a desk job or not, if you work out, uh, if, if you work out, then mostly you're gonna be doing more chest and shoulders than you are gonna be doing back. Most people do more chest and shoulders than they do back. So what happens is these muscles right here, these muscles right here get a little bit stronger than these muscles in the back. So what happens is this gets tight, boom. You get that anterior tilt, your shoulders come rounding forward, that creates imbalances and that causes problems and that causes pain. Same thing happens if you have a desk job and you're sitting at your desk and you're reaching for the keyboard all the time, well nobody in their right mind is going to be sitting like this at their desk. I don't know, maybe you have those coworkers that do it, but those people that are just like this, I am working nine to five, making a, making a living. Hi boss, <laughs> how are the kids, Bob? And uh, that's probably one of those guys that, uh, that, 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 that you see in Office Space. Uh, I don't know whose character it was in Office Space, but anyway, you're always gonna slouch when you're at a desk job. So here's what I want you to do. First off, you gotta loosen everything up. Get one of these green bands in your house or get a jump rope. What I want you to do is just hold it like this. Get about uh, a little bit wider than your shoulders. Lock your arms out, chest up, shoulders back. Just bring it around you. It's called dislocations, but you're not really gonna dislocate your shoulder. But what you're doing is when you're bringing it all the way around, you're kind of loosening up this part right here, the front side of your shoulder. That makes you nice and loose so that your shoulder can come back again. Then, try to do like three sets of 10, real simple, or three sets of 20 of band pull-aparts, palms facing down or palms facing each other. Let's pull it apart, keep that tension on there, keep that tension on there. Let's bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. What that does is it focuses on the rear delts. So that makes that tight, boom, it pulls it back even more. Now, thirdly, in every single SUF location, right now, Long Beach, La Palma, and Norwalk, we have one of these shoulder horns. Let me show you. It's these right here. This thing right here, the one in Norwalk has some mileage on it. Uh, you put it around your neck like this. You put it around your neck like this. And then you put your arms around like this. Now what this does is it isolates your rotator cuff. Rotator cuff is a small muscle on your shoulder. And what it does is you grab dumbbells and you rotate your hands around like that. Try to go for like two sets of 20, three sets of 15. Just feel a slight burn and then use that um, feel that burn and then do a couple more reps after you feel that burn. So that's going to work on your rotator cuff and if you do the other exercises you're going to feel the back side of your arm you're going to make it nice and loose. That's going to fix your shoulder pain so you don't have to go to the chiropractor, you don't have to go to the doctor because you already know what the doctor's going to tell you. The doctor's going to tell you to stop working out because that's all doctors do anyway. The doctor doesn't have x-ray vision. If somebody had x-ray vision they would look at you and say eh, that's wrong, okay, boom. Let me crack you right there, Doom. you're good. You can work out again. Doctors don't have that. They just say, oh, are you working out? Oh, you lifting weight? Stop doing that. That'll probably solve it. Yes, just forget that. Fix the problem instead. So, hope this made sense. This was a really long video, but if you're still watching, I appreciate it. And of course, there's always gonna be people that don't agree with what I say, but I really care. This is just my advice. You can do whatever you wanna do, but I do wanna make sure that your shoulders don't hurt, because once your shoulders are out, your upper body workouts are out. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. This video is only gonna be on the private Facebook group. So, hope you have an awesome Thursday. I'll see you guys soon.